The new high-speed train will run between Wuhan, the largest city in central China, and the southern business hub of Guangzhou. On a test run last week, it hit speeds of 245 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest such trains in the world. And even the average speed of 217 miles per hour on commercial runs still leaves other high-speed trains trailing in the dust. Spain's Ave comes closest at less than 185 miles per hour, while Japan's famous bullet train manages just 150. But even at these dizzying speeds, China's Ministry of Railways says safety is not in question. The high-speed train's auto control system has been equipped with GSMR wireless data transmission, and a two-way data transmission happens between train and ground. It captures all the information from 20 miles ahead, but the braking distance is just three miles, so it's very safe. The line was built in just four years and cuts the 660-mile journey from 10 and a half hours to just three. It's part of a major upgrading of the nation's overstretched rail system. The government says it will build 42 high-speed passenger rail lines with a total length of 8,000 miles over the next three years. These will connect almost every major city in the country. But for the moment, for these excited passengers, this new train is certainly a hit. I think this train is really beautiful and very steady. It feels great. I think it's much more comfortable than plane, and it's quite steady here in the carriage despite a speed of more than 220 miles per hour. I came here to experience the high speed and the thrill. Although there's always someone who's not quite satisfied. The seats are a little bit small. It would be kind of narrow for stout people and there's no cell phone signal in tunnels. And for some, it would appear, the delights of the new train eclipse even the attractions of Wuhan City. I'm going to Wuhan, but I'm not planning to stay there for long. I came just for this train, so I've already bought the return ticket. When we reach Wuhan, I'll have a look around the platform, and then I'll go home. At around $70 one-way, tickets don't come cheap, but at such speeds, the train provides a viable alternative to air travel. I always went to Wuhan by air before, but now I think I will take the train instead. It's definitely much more convenient than the plane. Indeed, it seems Chinese airlines are already responding to the threat of such high-speed trains. This week, China Southern announced new increased frequency flights on the Wuhan-Guangzhou route and discounted seats from just $30. Fergus Thompson, BON.